Megan. And I'm David. And this video for Disabled Disventures is about our stay at Disney's Pop Century Resort. Um, if you are returning, thank you so much for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. We're trying to get to 600 subscribers, so share out our channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video or go live. And if you're new here, welcome to the crew. And no matter if you're new or returning, hit that like for us. It really helps out in the algorithm. And it doesn't matter if you're new or returning, but we love you. Thank you so much for watching our videos. So we went to Walt Disney World in September and we stayed at Disney's Pop Century Resort. We only stayed there for three days. It's in the value category and it really felt like us, I thought. Um, you walked in and there, there's the queen size bed and then there's a Murphy bed pull down for another queen size bed that Which has I a table on. underneath it. Um, we did get a handicap room so that way I have a roll in shower and bars for me in the bathroom um it's all decorated very colorful um and reds and yellows right? we did so it's themed in different decades um so there's it starts with the 50s i believe so 50s, there's 50s 60s 70s, 70s 80s and 90s um and then outside on the stairs it's a uh, is a uh, the staircase is like a iconic thing from Each that era. And so ours, the one outside our hotel was, um, ours is the yo-yo, right? Yeah, yeah. Yo-yos were in the... 70s. The 60s this was, was the, the 8-track. The 50s... No. no. Bowling pins. Bowling pins. The For 50s the was the 8-tracks. No, because there wasn't 8-tracks in the 50s. The 8-tracks was in the 70s. Okay. They, um, so they had a couple different things. And in the 90s was cell phones. And, and in the, the 80s, 80s was, was Rubik's, Rubik's cubes. cubes. And they had decorations and stuff from the different eras around the themes. They had they had this area you could play Twister. Um, that it was painted on, the Twister board was painted on the ground. And they had the Twister board in and you could hit the spin. Where you had the spinner there. Um, Mom and I kind of did that, but <laughs> it was like it kept hitting the same thing over and over again. Like probably because of how it's mounted, I would imagine. Um, it was like right hand on red, and then it was right hand on blue. Like the color would change, but the yeah, it was hand like, would always like it would always be like the same. I think it's because I, I was like. <laughs> Um, and I was like, okay, I'm so it's bored. very kitschy, like, um, decades. Yes, I said kitschy again. Can you, like, not use that word if you don't know what it means? I know what it means. They had a, a big wheel there, and it was a very big, big it wheel. It was big. As in two stories tall. So. It, had, had, a, a giant it had a maximum foam. weight of, like, oh yeah, 700 pounds. They had a like giant that. phone with the Mickey next to it. You can see from we were on the third floor, um, and it's all this like gigantic stuff. When you went down, they would have stuff themed to that area. So I went down to like the fifties area. The ping pong ball or the the the, oh, the, they, the they had a foosball court. Yeah, there. foosball there was foosball court outside of our room too. The, the guys play. were. Yeah, the, you can't but play. But they were them. like a, nine they, feet. Tall or 10 yeah, feet tall? I would they say that they were like huge. a story tall, so I would say about 10 feet tall. They, they were huge. They were huge. Um, there was this, um, I was standing outside doing something, or I was waiting for something. I don't remember, but I was, I was outside, and there was this little kid who was like running around them, and his parents were just recording him running around <laughs> this giant foosball um, table-ish. And, you know, and um, she was like, okay, let's go to the park now. And he's like, but I don't want to. <laughs> he was having fun running around the foosball guys. They had signs in each of the areas, like with years and stuff about the years. For so every year. Every, every, every year. Every year in that decade. So David and I found our year signs and took pictures by our years. No. You switched. You took the picture in front of the 1975. Dad took the picture in front of the no, 1978. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No. Nope, he was in front of 1975. I was in front of 1975. I, I had to do my own because you guys went the other way because mine was all the way down around here. 
And you went the other way to go back to the hotel room to go the quicker way. Well, my back and knee was hurting. So. I know. We were all in pain that day coming back from Hollywood Studios. Um, anyway, so it, oh, we, we found our pictures <laughs> with our years and we took photos with them. And then um, Joel and I went down to the pool. The They have several pools. We went down to the big pool, which is the hippy dippy pool in the 60s. It was shaped uh, like a flower. Uh huh. Everything was flower themed, flower power. Um, it was so cute. They have little flower sprayers spraying mm -hmm. uh, water out into the pool. It was cold. Oh my gosh, it was so cold. She was floating in the pool, and I moved I her into the into the the center, and then I like <laughs> ran back. To I the like edge. floating in the pool. It's the only time I'm not in any pain at all. And then I like put her um, in the middle, and then like ran. I was like, "What are edge. you doing?" She just grabs my foot, and she's dragging me around. Um. And then, so... And then I just kind of left her there, like, right under the edge, and she's like, they had, really? They had the Everything Pop food court, and so they're asking people right now, because of COVID, to make place your order, and then wait till it gives you the thing that your food's ready, and then you show them to the person, and then they let you go in and pick up your food, and then you just pick it up. Um, and then, if you want to go get stuff in the store, you just tell me you want to get stuff in the store. And they'll, they'll let you in shop. for just that. Mm. Or if Otherwise, you need refills, you just show them your drink and they'll let you go in and get the drink refills. But if you're ordering food, they, you they have want to, you to... They, they don't have to, but they want you to wait outside until your food's ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had stuff from like sandwiches to like pizza to like pot roast and stuff for dinner. We didn't um, we didn't have the pizza, but the, it, it didn't look anything special. No. Um, so the one sandwich that we got was the focaccia chicken. Whatever. Oh, that that sandwich was. I mean, oh. It was like, I don't know, the size of Jillian's head. Yeah, it was huge. It it was it was, it big. was a, And I don't and, think we realized this at the time, but they're serving everything in these like to go boxes, but they unbreak down to plates. I don't think we realized it at the time we were there, because we were like, this is hard to eat, like without being able to like cut it and have like a plate, um, but. The boxes break down into plates. I didn't realize it at the time. Yeah, um, yeah. I had I had the pasta dish one night. Yeah, they had a, like a spaghetti and meatballs type of thing um, that he had one night, and then I got the pot roast one night, and then Julian got the burger. The burger. The exact same one twice. Yep. And then the green beans. We got the green beans a lot, which are steamed green beans and some butter with like some garlic on it. Super good. And then they had just like cupcakes for dessert. They had this, we got like the chocolate cupcake they had, which was just a traditional Disney cupcake, nothing to write home about. It was refrigerated. I said three letters on that. It was refrigerated. You didn't get it? No. It was refrigerated. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop. It was refrigerated, so it was kind of, the cake was kind of dry. It wasn't great, but if you wanted a dessert, that's what you were able to get. The burger was, you know, I mean, it, it was, was a burger. I mean, it was, burger. It was, I mean, it was, the food was. I mean, it's Disney food. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's. Some of it's good. Some of it's okay. Some of it's, you know, it depends on where you're getting. We also ordered um, rooms, or not room service. We ordered Postmates. We ordered Bob Evans for breakfast one day while we were there. Um, because it's on that side of the country and there's a Bob Evans that you can get delivery with Postmates. For those of you not familiar with Bob Evans, um, I would say that their sausage gravy is the absolute best sausage gravy I've ever had. Um, if, if you like sausage gravy, you will like this. You definitely will like this sausage gravy, unless you don't like a lot of sausage in your gravy. And it's, it's similar to like a um, if you're on the West Coast, we have like Cracker Barrels. It's similar, but it's different and. It's so like when I found out we could Postmates Bob Evans, he was like, "Oh my God!" Breakfast, yeah, breakfast, yeah. We're we're getting back breakfast from there, and she's like, uh, "Okay." <laughs> and Jillian's like, "I've never even heard of this place." Melissa had eaten there one time when we went to Missouri for um, Jillian's boot camp graduation. I grew up in Ohio, and that's where they're based out of. So, I I grew up with Bob Evans, and was really disappointed when. I moved to Arizona and there were no Bob Evans out here. There, I mean, it's the other side of the Mississippi mm -hmm. and that's it, you know? He's um, like, yeah, we're going to get Bob Evans. I'm like, what? I'm like, 
and she's like, going, okay, well, I'll get pancakes. Food, I'm like, you want gravy. the biscuits and gravy? And she's like, well. She did get pancakes and they were pretty good. But she, we got a family size biscuits, gets biscuits and gravy, so there was a lot of it. And I'm like, here, you need to. And she, that's what she like, ended eh. up wanting. She's like, eh, well, I, <laughs> biscuits no, I don't know. Gravy. Biscuits and gravy, how good can I'm it like, be? You need to try this. And then, then she was like. I want more. I want more. <laughs> she was like, I'm taking your biscuits and gravy. And I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> I was yeah. just like. So next time were, we go, we're going to order one morning, but get more biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Only get biscuits and gravy. That's, that's pretty much all you need. Well, no, some eggs too, because, I mean, their eggs aren't that great, but, you know. They're just scrambled eggs, you know. You know. Yeah, it's, I like. I gotta have my bacon. I mean, come on. Well, they yeah. were they they were getting ready to go to the park, and I was just like, steal. No, that was our last day when we were packing up. Yeah. We we're getting yeah. everything packed up that morning, and she's it's trying just, to like lick the bowl of the gravy. I'm just sitting there going, <laughs> and she's like, like every last little bit of it. And Dad's like, okay, need you to hurry up so you we're can help me with time. this. Use your and finger and just go like this. All of us were getting full. We ordered a lot of food, actually. Um, <laughs> and she didn't believe me full. when I was like, "the the gravy is is got, should be its own food group right there." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's really good. So if you want a good breakfasty place to go while you're there, that's not on Disney property, or you can Postmate it. Bob, Bob Evans. Evans, so good. I don't remember um, what the not a sponsored video. No. <laughs> wish but yes they're they're very good we can't eat there often enough to be sponsored <laughs> no. So. No. very good it's a, a recommendation for you also i would highly recommend you can get stuff ordered we ordered grocery store hotel room when we were there um they they will get it for you and you can go pick it up from bell service that you can do you can't um, order in actually, advance no you you have to be there now but they will still bring it up for you too. You just have to pay them like a small fee. Um, I think we did that because it was, at least we did that when we were at Pop because of how far away Bell yeah. Services was. Um, like, I think it was like $6 or something we had to pay them to bring it up. Which was, but it was well worth it. For, for the guy <laughs> to walk it all the way from the front all the way to the, the far end where we were at, mm -hmm. it was like, yeah, you know. It was well worth that. Six plus, we, plus we tipped him on top of that, yeah, you know. Yeah. But still, it was it was well worth it. Yeah. We ordered groceries um, while we were there. We ordered food. Um, again, they want you to either meet them up at the front or um, like meet them meet them in the lobby. So we sent Jillian out to go meet our our postmate guy in the lobby. Um, and he was like looking around and I was like, <laughs> yeah, try to get like a description of who you're looking for. Cause that can, they were standing there staring at each other for like 10 minutes, not realizing they were. <laughs> and then I finally was him. like, okay, I think that's him. So I'm going to go talk to him. And I was like, are you? And he's like, are you? And I was like, yes. And he's like, okay, here you go. And I was like, thank you. So you can get stuff delivered. You can get like the Postmates or, um, Uber Eats or whatever delivery they just want you to meet them in the hotel instead of having people walking through the hotel um but you can get it it can be done right now during covid yep. and it, it i think overall it was a really great experience we really liked staying at pop honestly can we go back? probably it was like our our theming like our people like our um and I honestly, okay, honestly, it was so cute. I just wanted to sit in the lobby for like a good couple of hours and just listen to the music. That was, that was what I wanted to do. They had all I mean, this great was, music from like yeah, the 60s, 60s, 70s, 70s and 80s, 80s. Playing. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it rotated from 50s to 90s, which was the Probably. beginning of the whole, whole yeah. hotel. Thank you. But it just seemed like, bless you, it seemed Thank like you. the majority of what was being played was like 60s, 70s, and 80s. Yeah, it, it was really great music, really great decor, really fun, really bright colors. Like, And um, Dad and I were going through each of the, like... Um, the displays and going, you know, like... He would, he, would, he would, like, point at something and be like, what's that? And I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> but, like, I'd guess at it. <laughs> and there was... Um, the, the fax machine is the, the one yeah. thing that surprised me that she figured out. <laughs> Because I was staring at it and I was like, I don't know what that is. I was like, it, but it kind of looks like a like a, a phone, but like there's no like phone. I was like, oh, fax machine. 
And he's like, yes. yes. I, was, I was surprised on that. You know, I mean, some of the 80s stuff she got, like the Rubik's Cube, you know, she could identify that and record. And... It, it was just a, such a super, super cute, fun hotel. Um, it was pretty busy. It's a big hotel. So keep that in mind when you're trying to get buses. Um, it's on the Skyliner, so you have to take the Skyliner to Epcot and Hollywood Studios from there. They're not really running buses right now. But on our, to those, as um, long as the Skyliner's running, that's right. that's your transportation. Yeah, there. they're not running buses to Hollywood Studio, Disney's Hollywood Studios, or Epcot. You have to take the Skyliner, um, the thing that which is me so up. cute. And actually, except for Hollywood Studios, Epcot was really quick to get. Well, Epcot, we didn't go from there. But we only did Hollywood Studios. Um, it was a five-minute walk from our hotel. Yeah. So, so the first, so Hollywood Studios. The two days we went, the first morning we we didn't get up and leave early enough to get rise. It was like after nine thirty. So the line was short. It didn't take very long. But getting up to try to get there early enough to get rise at seven o'clock in the morning, the line was freaking long. And so we ended up. Um, taking and we ended up having to wait in two lines actually you have to go to epcot so but when we were in epcot we were in yacht club so we didn't go to epcot from there but we went to hollywood studios the you had the first one was really quick and it's a two-leg one you have to take the first leg it was really quick we were able to get on and then there was like a line so we didn't make rise resistance the first day second so the day. second day when we went we ubered over so we could get there early enough or lift. I can't remember if we lift or Uber. We ride, took a ride share. One um, of those two. So that way we could get there early no enough. Affiliation. Yeah. So that way we could get there early enough to get Rise of the Resistance. Um, so now that they've changed Rise of the Resistance for in the morning, you don't have to worry about that. But it, it was actually really quick to take the Skyliner. And actually I thought it was a lot easier than the buses with the mobility scooter. Because you can just... They have an area where they can stop it, or if they're not using that disability area, then they will stop the Skyliner for you and you can just pull, ride straight on. They put chocks in behind you. You can stay on your mobility scooter or in your wheelchair and you will go on your merry way. It's a, There's only enough room for one per. One um, um, wheelchair or mobility scooter per vehicle, but it was really easy. And they are marked by a Mickey. Um, the Does, ones that can take the... Yeah, they have a, they have a, quote, hidden Mickey on the, the glass. It's a, it's a Mickey sticker. Um, but yeah, they, they have a disability area where they will, so when they're really super busy, they'll pull two in there so they can load them up and then put them out in to service so they don't have to stop the ride system. Um, so keep in mind, it is up in the air, so if you're afraid of heights, it's, something you might have an issue with there are some things you can do to deal with that um one thing that may help you if you're scared of heights make sure you're facing forward and not backward yeah that can help so you don't feel so out of place going backwards another thing is every time it hits one of the points um where the lines are attached it kind of jiggles a little bit other than that i didn't feel much movement even with the wind blowing yeah. it didn't feel like there was a lot of movement to it it was um, yeah it's just basically when you ran over the wheels right you know it would shake a little bit but you know, i mean it's the nature of the, the, the gondola vehicle, service. you know yeah it's um i thought night was a little bit better because you couldn't really see down so it wasn't was it better for you being up to at night yes so you couldn't really see everything when it was dark it was better because then you couldn't see how high up you were so just don't look down um it's better to be in one of the wrapped ones you can't see out as well no as you can in the not wrapped ones if you have afraid of if you have a fear of heights um try and take like she do something music. to distract yourself yeah i play music to distract her um talk to your other people just don't look out just don't look down um, I look up some because sometimes I get a little scared of heights occasionally. I was so I making up. fun of him with getting stuck over the water. Because he's afraid of water. Um, she's afraid of heights. He's afraid of water. <laughs> I'm okay them. as long as I'm in a vehicle. If I'm actually in the water and can't, can't touch the bottom, that's when there's a problem. But, so, yeah, we were fine. Or see the bottom. Um, on the way back at night because of the disability they didn't have the disability thing running that, that night we came back. 
um, um, from Yacht Club. That one was, was the longer one. Um, you had to stop. They would stop it occasionally. And that would freak her out. Because it would like, kind of like swing to slow to stop. And then it would swing again when it started. And that would freak like, her out. So. I'm freaking out sitting on the couch. <laughs> Just if you're afraid of heights and you're staying there, be prepared if you're going to Hollywood Studios or Epcot. Those are, that's your, they weren't running buses when we were there to those two. You had to go, you had to take. Um, Skyliner or Skyliner ride Skyliner or pay for ride share on your own. And they're not doing minivans right now, so keep that in mind as well. Um, but you still can get a regular Lyft or Uber. And when we were um, sitting in there, we all kind of were like. As long as it was moving, it was fine. Yeah. But when it would stop, there's no air system moving through. It'd get mm -hmm. kind of It humid would get stuffy. And stuffy and... But um, we had personal fans with us, so. We did. We turned them on. We just on. turned them on, and it was fine. And I don't know. I thought it was beautiful. I thought. It, it was pretty quick. I, I don't remember it taking longer than half an hour, except for when we had to stand in the second line, that long part when we were at Yacht Club. Although I really liked Hollywood when we Studios. were coming back from Hollywood Studios, I think it was, when we had to go on that second one. That um, was from the Yacht second Club. Part. And we, we were going past Epcot and it, the, the, the... You actually fly over part of the... France Pavilion. That was going to Epcot. Yeah. Not what I'm talking about. The... Sphere? Yeah. Spaceship the... Earth. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. When it was lit, lit up and pretty and I was like... At night. When, when we were going past it, I was like... Oh. Because the Skyliner, that part of it goes over Epcot. Because when you're at Yacht Club, um, the Skyliner station is actually inside the park that you get off on. So we were coming back from Hollywood Studios... And um, we actually got off inside of Epcot and then mm -hmm. had to exit Epcot. It's like right by the entrance. Well, it's, it's technically inside the park. Yeah, but it's it's outside of where you have to show your tickets. Yes, but it's so technically it's, inside the park. It's so not it's like, like you could just take the Skyliner and sneak into the park. That's true. But you do fly. You're like flying over into you do Epcot. Fly, you do fly over part of the French Pavilion. Mm -hmm. Like you're... Like right next to where Ratatouille is being going to open. Yep. So that was super cool. Um, I don't know. I thought it 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 was pretty good. I actually liked it better than the buses personally. But trying to get on and off the buses with the a mobility scooter is a pain. Buses made me feel claustrophobic. Well, that's because they put in partitions. So they put in partitions on the buses so to keep parties separate from each other um and so they would have like two seats and the partitions are close together and they're small seats and with him and her sitting next to each other two seats was not enough they there was and some parts where there was three it depends on the bus um and those ones they were more comfortable when there was three seats so he could straddle two and she could have one but the bus sections were they make you feel that way because they all have partitions now because of and, COVID. And there, there's numbers on the seats. Yep. So that and way the bus he driver, he'll tell bus you driver what will tell section. you number one. Okay. How many? Okay. You're going to be in number, number four. Yeah. Whatever number you're on. You know, so he'll, he'll tell you where you're in, you know, and you just look for that number and that's where you're sitting. Yep. Um, but yeah. We, when we were on the buses, we were, we were like on top of each other and I was sitting there going, yeah, it's, it's because of the partitions. And having the mask on did not help. <laughs> oh, I learned a trick with that. I just turned my fan a little bit and oh, stuck right. my fan in the, into the mask. <laughs> and it would blow so it out a little I had, bit. I had to, you know, I had my mask on. Granted, I had air blowing directly into my mask and it was blowing out the other side, so. So you're going to blow whatever you're breathing out. But they didn't Under stop her. you. Um, so anything else you want to add about Pop Century? It's a value property. It's not the cheapest on property, but it is one of the cheaper options. Right. There's signs everywhere. It's on water, a body of water. There can be alligators. Do not can feed the snakes. gators. Don't feed the wildlife because they can be there. They can come out at you. Pay attention to where you are and where you're going. Um, they have signs out. Believe them. And 
it can happen. So just be yeah. cognizant of where you are. There, there was a yes. couple of times where we saw like bubbles coming up out of the water. And it's like, there'd be like 12 bubbles that would come up and that would be it. And then a little yeah. bit later, it's down a little ways and there's some bubbles that would come up. So I don't know like, if there was one there or not for sure. We also saw little ones running around um, some of the places. The, the little lizards. Well, the, those were not actually alligators. Okay. Those we saw were, a bunch of the little lizards. Which are there to eat the uh, mosquitoes. They look like little baby lizards. alligators though. So I don't know. But um, I, I think staying there again could be a high poss possibility. And then there was birds everywhere. Lots of birds. Very, it's very wet. Florida is a very wet area, so marshy birds, critters, bugs. I mean, you are in a swamp. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that. Um, any final thoughts on Disney's Pop Century Resort? Nope, just really enjoyed it. Really Check out all of our other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a magical day. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video or go live. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Pinterest. You can support us on our Patreon. We have tiers starting at $1 per month. Thank, Thank you, you for, for all, all your support. support. If you want to see more, click the video in your right-hand corner.